<laughs> Look what I got! Whatnot is the sponsor of the Silver Picker YouTube channel, and the US Gold Bureau is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you both for your support. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video we're going to be cracking into this incredible package that the US Gold Bureau sent me. Now I can only imagine that there's all sorts of really cool precious metals in here, but if you don't know what the US Gold Bureau is, I highly recommend you click on the link in the description below, because it'll tell you all about their incredible company that not only sells gold, silver, and other precious metals, but they also have a team of experts that can help you learn all you need to know about investing in precious metals, and they can show you how you can even buy and sell precious metals directly from your 401k or IRA accounts. Now, I've got a lot more to tell you about the US Gold Bureau, but as I always say, enough with the jibber jabber. Let's crack into this and see what all sorts of cool stuff we got inside. Oh yeah, I am super stoked to open this up. Not only because it's my first package from the US Gold Bureau, but it's because the US Gold Bureau is a very exciting place to buy precious metals. So first off, obviously on their website, you can just straight up buy precious metals, or you can go online and chat with their experts or call them and chat with their experts to figure out how you can actually build a portfolio of precious metals right in your IRA. And if you were curious, by the way, yes, the US Gold Bureau is totally legit. Not only are they authorized dealers for both NGC and PCGS, but they can actually store your purchases. So if you want to do like set it and forget it, and if you don't trust them, well, the, uh, the state of Texas trusts them. So I think you should too. They were selected by the state of Texas to build and operate the Texas Bullion Depository, which is the only state administered precious metal storage facility in the entire country. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. Ooh, we got two packages. I am super stoked. And a whole bunch of bubble wrap to pop later. Okay. We have two different boxes. We're gonna save this one for last, no clue, but we'll do that in a minute. First, we will open up, ooh, this is really, really nice. Ooh, and it's heavy, there's some good stuff in here. United States Gold Bureau, how nice is that? Ah, uh, ooh, wow, this is nice. Oh my God, I've never seen any uh, gold or silver bullion packaged this nicely. Oh my God, this paper also, look at this. This like gift paper is super, super nice. I almost wanna save it. Uh, you know, if you're getting something for gifts for people, maybe you've got a son, a daughter, a grandson, a granddaughter, and you wanna get them into investing, uh, some precious metals from the US Gold Bureau might be a good idea, and you can wrap it up in this nice paper. I know the holidays just passed, I know New, New Year's just passed, but as they say, it's never too late to start investing. The best time to start investing in precious metals was yesterday, but the second best is today. So don't wait another year to start investing for your financial future. The time to start investing in precious metals is now, and we'll talk more about how to do this, but I really just want to check out some of this gold and silver already. Okay, what do we have here? Let's start with this. This feels like a nice little chunky monkey, maybe a graded something or other. Ooh, this is packaged real nice. Oh, gift wrapped, super nice. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh my God, it's like layer after layer after layer. All right, here we go, the big reveal. Ooh, wow, I thought they were just gonna send me bullion. I didn't realize they were gonna also send me coins and graded coins nonetheless. That is so nice. That's an 1881-0 graded MS64 by PCGS. I should mention that they also have a ton of really cool coins in addition to bullion coins, rounds, bars, etc. But I thought that I was just getting a bunch of rounds. This is super nice. All right, let's put that to the side. And what should we go for next? What should we go for next? We've got another, ooh, this thing is really heavy. I'm gonna save that one. Okay, that's just paper, that's just paper. Okay, you always gotta check. You never wanna throw out, you know, cause a little tiny little gold coin like that big could be hiding in there and that's already a few hundred bucks. So you don't wanna miss out on that. What do we have here? This is heavy. I don't think this is a single item. This, yeah, this feels like a few different items in there. Nice little box, kind of like a NGC or PCGS style uh, coin box, but I do like that they've got their own logo on there. United States Gold Bureau, that is sick. That is really nice. Let's keep that right over there. All right, let's open this up. And we're gonna do this grab bag style. I wanna see, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's go one by one. I feel, all right, what's this guy? All right, we got ourselves a one try, try. One troy ounce of 999 pure silver, life, liberty, happiness round. Ooh, that is nice. That is a spicy meatball. That is really nice. So this is an example. I think that we're gonna have just a whole bunch of different examples of types of stuff that you can get at the US Gold Bureau. 
So this is, of course, a generic silver round, and the benefit of investing in generic silver rounds is that they don't have that high premium that US or British or Mexican or any other government-issued bullion coins have. The great thing about investing in precious metals like gold and silver is that it's also a hobby. You get to enjoy it. And there's a collecting element of it as well. And there's a lot of people out there that collect lots of different generic silver rounds because they like the different designs. And let's see what is next in this wonderful bag of mysteries. Ooh, we got ourselves what looks like another generic round. What is this guy? International trade round, one ounce fine silver. That is super cool. Okay, so back in the, this says 311 grams. Oh, that's interesting. What's really cool about this is back in the 1970s, I think is when this whole trend started. And the whole idea is that, you know, you've got dollars, you've got euros, you've got rubles, you've got yen, you've got yuan, you've got all these different currencies all over the world. And they're all constantly moving in relation to one another. And there is a thought, there is a school of thought, an economic school of thought, where people want to have hard money, meaning money backed by gold or silver, or literally just gold and silver. And the idea of these international trade rounds started. And I've had them from the 1970s, I've had them from the 90s, and this one looks like a brand new attempt at that. And the idea is that no matter where you are in the world, whether you're in India, China, Pakistan, Iraq, New York City, Tokyo, Mexico City, you get the idea that everybody knows that an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver. And the idea would be to sort of make it much easier to buy and sell goods and services. All right, next up in our bag of tricks, we've got, very cool, this is our first government issue coin. And notice that I say coin and not round. For all of you new folks to investing in precious metals, the difference between a coin and a round is that a round is just a round disc of precious metals that can be minted by any company, private or public. But a coin has to be minted by a government and it has to have an actual denomination on it. So let's see what the denomination is here. This is from the East India Company. Huh, St. Helena, Queen Elizabeth II, 2021. What, and it has a one pound 25 cent, or I guess 25 pence face value? I have never seen anything like that. Oh, it's from Guinea, and it's 1.25 ounces. That is super interesting. I have never seen anything like that. I don't think I've ever seen a government issue coin with such an odd denomination and an odd weight. That is super cool, but I love the design. I love that background work on the field over there. I think that that's an anti-counterfeiting uh, element, but it's also a super nice design element. This is super cool. I was not expecting to get anything like this. Now, obviously we're gonna be talking a lot about precious metals and anybody here that's new to the world of precious metals, maybe you're watching because you're a coin collector and you're interested in investing in precious metals or maybe you're just a beginner or maybe you're a longtime veteran of investing in precious metals. But either way, I'm gonna be talking a lot about the ins and outs of investing in precious metals, but if you wanna get a real deep dive education, use the link below and download the free investor guide from the US Gold Bureau. Now, they have that available on their website for anybody. You can put in your email address and download it easily for free, obviously. But if you use my link to do it, they're also offering a special surprise offer as well. And uh, you can learn more about that if, of course, you click that link. So don't delay on that, trust me. Even if you decide not to invest with them or not to buy from them, it's a free investor's guide and you can use that anywhere and that is a great great resource so don't sleep on that it's totally totally free all right we still have a chock full of coins oh my gosh there's so much stuff in there all right grabbing another one what do we have what do we have why is this taking me so long there we go Ooh, we got ourselves a little prospector around oh this is so cool this is so cool i love these this is my first one that i've ever had this one I think is going right in my personal collection. So this is cool. So this is a little prospector round. It's a beautiful design of a gold prospector somewhere out west, probably in the California gold rush. Beautiful design, but this is what makes it really special. You see here, it looks kind of just like a little star, right? It looks like just like a design. But the idea here is that this can be easily cut and divided up into smaller portions. So this is actually a practice that was done even back in ancient times. And you'll often find lots of old hammered coins from Europe that have been cut into pieces because 
Well, back then, it wasn't so easy to make change necessarily. Coins were scarce. So you would actually just cut the coin in half, right? If it was a silver coin that weighed an ounce and you only wanted to buy a half ounce worth of goods, well, you would cut it in half and you'd give one half and then you'd keep the other. So here it's actually measured out. So you can see it says 999 fine silver and then each quarter is one quarter ounce. So it has one quarter troy ounce, 9995 silver on each quadrant. So that you always, no matter what, when you cut it, it still shows the purity and the weight. That is brilliant. I absolutely love that. That is super, super cool. So that is so far my favorite one. Man, each one that we're pulling out is more and more of my favorite. All right, let's check this next one out. What do we got here? Ooh, this is cool. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Year of the Dragon, 2024. So it's a beautiful Chinese looking coin, certainly Chinese New Year, 2020, 2024. Oh wow, that's super new. Wow, that's issued before 2024. Uh, so it must not be a government coin. Lunar Calendar Series, yes. So it's from Asahi Refining. You saw that? That's an expert move right there. I knew that this was not a government issue coin because they don't actually put the coins out from 2024 before the year 2024. And spoiler alert, I'm filming this just a few days before New Year's. So you'll see this after New Year's, but this is being filmed just a few days before. One ounce Troy, interesting phrasing. And it says, Lunar Calendar Series Fine Silver 999 Asahi Refining. By the way, I decided that I'm going to be giving away a bunch of these. Like I said, I think I'm gonna probably keep this one for my private collection, but a lot of this stuff I am actually going to be giving away at my next Whatnot auction. And if you don't know what Whatnot is, I talk about it in almost every one of my videos, but essentially it is a live video auction platform for collectibles. And you can use my link in the description below to sign up. You get 15 bucks absolutely free. And if you come to my next auction, like I said, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of these. Yeah, giving them away to you guys, courtesy of the US Gold Bureau and of course, yours truly. So use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker, sign up, download the app, come to my next auction, and I'll be able to give you some of these absolutely free. Right, next up, what do we have here? Ooh, a classic, an oldie but goodie. I love me some maple leaves. This is a beautiful, wow, this is a gorgeous one. 2022, this one has a $5 face value. Is this a proof? or I think they just do it so well. It's not a proof, it's just super nice. Now, what's really cool about Canadian silver is unlike in the US where we have American silver eagles are 999 pure and everything else we've looked at so far is 999 pure. Well, with the exception of the Morgan dollar, of course, which is 90% silver. But with this, you've got 9999, which means that 9,999 parts out of 10,000 are guaranteed to be silver, which is just an absurd level of purity. Obviously 999 is enough, and this is somewhat of a gimmick, but it is still really, really cool. And that's why Canadian silver is very highly respected and very, very investable. I love those. Next up, we still have a whole bunch more, and then of course, we'll get to this, which I have no clue what it is. All right, what do we have over here? Oh, we've got a little baggie. Oh yeah, that's a baby, that's a baby. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a bar. I was wondering if we were gonna get any bars in here. Five troy ounces of 999 five silver. Five silver, fine silver. Whoa, that is a crazy design. I love that Aztec style design. That is awesome. I think those are called an Olmec uh, symbol. Holy cow, I love that. So obviously you see here, the whole idea is to give you a sense of what they have to offer at, at the US Gold Bureau. And like I said, US Gold Bureau is super legit. They are experts in their field. And by the way, they are like fully, fully compliant with like every law that's relevant to the precious metals industry. They are an official precious metals dealer registered with the state of Texas, and they fully comply with all the rules and regulations of the FTC, and as well as all the top associations and governing bodies of the precious metals industry. So like you're dealing with a real deal company and they have incredible stuff. And I have to say a big piece of this, cause you can get precious metals in so many places. You can go to your local bullion dealer. You can go to pawn shops, jewelry stores even. You can buy from lots of different online dealers. But what's really, really nice about the US Gold Bureau is that it does have all of these heavy, heavy backings and partnerships all over the country with governments and with private institutions that are really, really well respected. And to top it all off, 
They have incredible people. Every single person that I've dealt with at the company is not only really, really expert in the field, but they're also really nice and patient. They'll put you in the right direction and they won't push you. They're not gonna like pressure sell you. And that's what's really, really important with any investing, not just gold and silver. All right, I think we've got our last coin in this bag and then we're going on to that box. What do we have here? All right, it says Liberty. Ooh, this is kind of cool. So this has a blank face over here. It says one troy ounce, 999 fine silver. And it has like this blank field, and I'll get to that in a second. It says made in America, Murica. One ounce, 999 fine silver, Liberty. So this is a generic round, but what they do is there are a lot of companies that have these blank fielded silver rounds where you can actually have an engraver engrave a message. You can give this as a gift. It's a really, really popular thing from fathers to sons or fathers to daughters or grandparents to grandkids. Like it's a really, really nice gift. Uh, and it's a really great like stocking stuffer around the holiday season. Um, but in any case, it's something that can also mark a special occasion. I, I've actually never done it, but now that I'm opening this, I'm thinking, wow, there are a bunch of special occasions that I could mark with stuff like this. And uh, I think I'm gonna try that out. I can't believe I've never done that before. All right, so before we open up this last box and get into uh, whatever that is, I wanna hear from you guys. Put it in the comments below which of these is your favorite and which of these is your favorite to invest in. My answer is I love this bar and I love this round. Now, of course, you guys know that in general, my own investing uh, strategy is more along the lines of government issue stuff, but I'm also a collector. And as a collector, I like interesting designs and oddities. And I think that this is so cool. As a numismatist, knowing that this sort of plays on like the old school methods of commerce from back in the day when people really used gold and silver to transact business. I love that. And I mean, come on, who doesn't like a hulking silver bar that has a really, really nice design? I mean, come on, how, how could you argue with that? All right, and here we go. This CIT, which I have no idea what CIT is. You know what CIT means to me? It means counselor in training. Back when I was a lifeguard at a summer camp, the CITs were the youngest staff members. Ooh, this is pretty nice. What is, <gasps> whoa! Yeah, forget summer camp, holy moly, look at this thing. What on earth is this? Wow, I don't know what this is, but this is breathtaking. This is absolutely breathtaking. Okay, what is this? Second skin, Cook Island's $5, 2023, one ounce of silver, four nines and it is a proof, only 2,500 pieces made, and says smart minting ultra high relief. Ultra high relief is the understatement of the century. Oh my gosh, look at this. Holy cow, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, I've seen three dimensional coins, but look at that. I've never seen them phrased as ultra high relief, which it absolutely is. Holy cow, $5, man, I'm fogging this up out of my, uh, my excitement. 2023, Queen Elizabeth II, $5, Cook Islands. It's a thick boy right there. And you've got this beautiful, beautiful design. I have no idea what this symbolizes though. Second skin, what on earth is that? It's like, oh, second skin, interesting. It's like somebody getting out of the matrix. I have no idea. Put your thoughts of your interpretation of what this coin means in the, in the description box below. And I'm hoping that it's not obvious and I'm just being a moron and have no idea what this is, but uh, put your thoughts in the comments. I definitely wanna hear. That is so cool. I am speechless. This is such an awesome little collection. Thank you so much to the US Gold Bureau for sending it to me. And I'm really glad that I got to share it with you guys. I mean, you all know if you've been watching my channel for a long time that I am not an extremist. I am a pretty conservative investor. And I don't say, I'm not like one of these people that pushes precious metals and says like, yeah, you need to have you know, your, entire, your entire portfolio in precious metals. You know, if it's not silver, it's not real money. I'm not one of those people. I think that every single portfolio needs to be diversified. By the way, this is not rocket science. That's like sort of one of the main cornerstone foundational principles of investing. But a lot of people don't actually do it. And unfortunately, a lot of people in our own community don't do that. And I really think that having a diverse, strong, sound portfolio is super, super important, both for the short term and also for the long term, for your retirement. So if you don't have precious metals as part of your investment strategy yet, you definitely should at least click on the link, download the free investor guide, get the free offer, and just 
talk to one of their expert staff members about investing in precious metals. You have nothing to lose. There's no, no one's gonna hold a gun to your head and force you to, to do anything. But if you don't educate yourself, if you don't learn, you're just missing out because it's a free opportunity to learn. And if you already do invest in precious metals, well, there's a lot of different ways to invest in precious metals and maybe you're doing it one way, but you could be doing it a different way or another way. So like I said, click on the link, it will be worth it just to get the free education, if nothing else. I certainly loved unboxing this and sharing all these really cool silver items with you guys. It really, really was a treat and I had such a good time doing it. And like I said earlier in the video, the best time to start investing was yesterday, right? The best time to start investing was the day of your 18th birthday when you're legally able to start investing in securities and precious metals, etc., etc. But we can't have a time machine, we can't go back in time. So the best time to start investing is today. Seriously, 2023, we can't go back and invest then, but we can put our best foot forward and start investing intelligently and confidently in 2024. So I wish you all a happy new year. I wish you guys a year of success, health, happiness, and wealth. And a great way, again, to start that off is with the US Gold Bureau. Thank you to them, a huge thank you to them, and a huge thank you to you guys, my fans, my viewers, for another amazing year. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon, the links are below, and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.